Welcome in to the next episode of the 40 and Polly show brought to you by he made some if guys he got in. it right he got it right <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say Polly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys welcome in everybody welcome in um we have a special guest today he's probably been with us probably the longest almost the longest out of everybody right yeah I think DJ probably is the longest seven member of SMF at the and, dude, I, 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 I literally think this this person, DJ Ditter, has every single piece of merch that he can possibly buy that has SMF on it. He <laughs> has the fucking yeah. most. <laughs> Guy gets the most tickets on the giveaway night when he just posts a picture of like 17 bits of merch, you know? And <laughs> yeah. give, give, give me my tickets, bitch. And, and, and speaking of which, he has SMF merch on today. Welcome in... The sexy, the one and only DJ Sexy Ditter. Welcome in, welcome in, you sexy welcome beast. DJ. What is good, guys? How we all doing? How's it going? Hey. Good evening. So we, we we got the first one Cheers. done with bears. We got the first one yes. done with bears. And uh we, we want to try to get everybody in. Um, you were the second episode. The second episode, I like even numbers. right? Right? Yeah. Bears. Bears was the first one. Um, we were gonna have drama on here too, but drama wimped out on us. He did uh, not answer his fucking phone. Nah, he was he was busy. Yeah, he fucking ignored it. Anyways, how's your day busy going, DJ? Llamas with probably in Fortnite. Fucking llamas. <laughs> We're doing good though. We're doing good. We're doing good. Happy to oh, yeah. uh, be part of this second episode. Good stuff. Um, good stuff. Happy this to be part be... of this uh, this journey of Team SMF. This is going to be interesting. Um, the Bears, the Bears interview, we kind of scripted a bit, you know, and we sort of tried to prepare for it, but we thought with DJ, it's going to be a lot easier. Do you know, a guy just makes it so easy for you, you know, as we're just going to jump uh, yeah. straight into it, you know? Yeah, we have no script. Well, we have no questions ready. We have that's nothing. Right. Well, Bears, you got to be more prepared, I think, sometimes, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we had to, you know? But DJ, what what have you been streaming lately? Uh lately I've been streaming a lot of racing, you know, a lot of F1, um, along with some Assetto Corza, uh, known as ACC. Um, just been a lot of grinding on the wheel really. Um, just having fun doing, you know, some sim racing really. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Good stuff. What like um, the first person driving, you know. What kind of what, what did you get into? What made you get into um, driving uh, games and stuff like that? Um, the big thing that got me in the driving game is just like my passion of racing through life always, you know, I've always liked watching racing and all right. and uh, grew up wanting to, you know, be involved in it. And sadly, you know, didn't get to follow that perspective. But now what the video game industry has brought to us in today's day and age, I mean, you could pretty much drive a car in your bedroom, you know, it's oh, insane dude. On what they can give I us. Did. Your setup is fantastic. Like you, you, it's clear, it's clearly you've spent a lot of money on it. So yeah, um, well, yeah. Well, what, what, start what, off small. What do you have for a setup? What is your setup? So racing wise setup, mm. I start off with a Thrustmaster T three hundred that I actually got on Xbox originally. Um, start off on that was uh, pretty good on it. You know, not too bad. It's a very good actually starting wheel. I would say for people that want to start. Right. Um, and grew more into the PlayStation side of things. So got the same wheel for PlayStation, raced on that for a while, started getting actually really good at it. And then uh, actually a good friend of ours, a fellow SMF team member, just to show how good this community is, actually gave me the hub of one of his second wheels of wow. a fan attack. Who, who is and that? That would be the sexy Warshaw himself. Warshaw, hell yeah, Ooh, Warshaw. Mr. Warshaw, yeah. Good he shot. hooked me up with a hub. Um, so all I had to do was buy the wheel and the pedals. Um, still costs a little bit of money, pretty money. But with this setup, it feels 10 times more realistic than you'll ever realize. Oh, yeah. The amount of force feedback that the wheel can jolt at you and give all the vibrations of Maybe pedals. Maybe they feel all that stuff in. You feel everything. You can wow. feel the vibration in the pedals as you're like getting on the brakes, or if there's a hiccup in the road, like a little bump, you feel it in the pedals mm -hmm. and the wheel. It's it's insane. So that's absolutely. Um, awesome. I've also yeah, I also I'm got a second chair that sits you know lower now, so mm -hmm. like I'm like more low and stable. So you feel as if you're actually so. sitting in a car, basically. Yeah, to a point. Yeah. Oh, man. 
I need to try that that shit out. I think. Hell yeah! So, so, it's, so pretty, you, it's pretty good. So you've been racing, mo most mostly racing then. It's mostly Formula One, as as it. Uh, right now, yeah, I'm in a Formula One league mm -hmm. for the first time. Uh, going into the second season of the league that I'm in. Um, oh, yeah. just trying to get the hang of how fast these guys are, what I really need to do to work at my racing in the future. And right, right now, it just seems to be the only thing I've really been able to get into that's kind of been competitive and, uh, you know, open for yeah. my competitive level. It's massive competitively. Like, I've seen a lot of other people doing it. It's massive. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You know, it's, it's a massive community, you know, it's, it's, it's actually quite good. Oh, what was yeah, that guy's very, name? Very uh, Raider Racer? Raider Racing? I think Rattle Rattle racing. Rattle Rattle racing, racing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I saw a stream of his. His, dude, that guy, holy crap. Like, his setup is yeah, cool as shit, well. too. Yeah, he does really yeah. good. But, um, yeah, they actually have a big league, actually, that is on Twitch right. as well. It's, uh, the esports Formula One league that they have going that, like, people. Is he, is he part of that? No, no, no. Sadly, no. no. Okay. Um, another friend of mine is, uh, Tom. He is, he was almost close to it. He had an audition to it, but he didn't make a team. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I I met that that guy that that Raider racing dude uh, from you. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, he yeah, came yeah. In here. yeah. He 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 came in the chat one time and and was um was talking. He he has a good amount of people that with him as well. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, I, yeah. He I has a good him. crowd. Right. It's uh, it's definitely it's definitely a big uh, UK thing for sure. Yeah. Um, a lot of UK people love to do it, so that's why I actually get different people into my streams, which I love like interacting oh, yeah. with people from all around the world because yeah you learn you learn things by just them being in your channel and it's just awesome like i can learn what you know maybe you know how they like their cars out there or you know right what yeah. the weather is always out there and stuff so it's a good good different yeah. change well dude you're, you're, you're okay well you're people actually in UK love it you know so i thought no you're good you're good yeah yeah people in the uk love it but dj you're actually in the middle of me and Polly. Yeah, like like <laughs> Polly, like we know Polly's overseas, but like I'm in North yeah. Dakota, you're actually in the middle of me and Polly. <laughs> yeah, I'm smack dead in the middle of you guys. Like shit. <laughs> yeah, Polly, yeah. No. One of my buddies, one of my buddies likes to follow the follow up Formula One quite quite often. You know, he's actually travelled a lot. He goes to well, not anymore, but he did. He used to go to Belgium, uh, travel over the UK. Um, yeah, just just for all the shows and stuff. It's um, it's it's massive here oh yeah it's it's very big um one day soon i hopefully you know hopefully things will uh get back to normal-ish and uh, i'll be able to actually go to a race either here in america or canada they have a track there too so maybe go check one of those out finally so who's, so, your, um, who's your favorite um yeah. uh, driver there you go favorite f1 driver right now i'd say i it's really kind of like for Verstappen. Verstappen? good yeah, yeah. i nice. like Verstappen. i mean i respect hamilton as a driver of what he can do in the car but i mean can't just go for the front running right you know yeah that's it everybody picks and, the, and the way for staff and attacks is kind of how the way i would drive so mm -hmm. i kind of like the way he is nice. you know he came in and very aggressive a little bit how long and, have you followed uh, it for i've how followed it for? for about four years now about four wow. years Damn. so you, do, you, do you ever watch back some of the older videos and the older yes. races like watch, nigel manso um David yeah, Cole I have Bob. to watch a lot of older stuff just to even yeah. also get myself more familiarized of where the sport has come from. You know what it's grown yeah. up to be, how dangerous it—it's way more dangerous back then than uh, it was now. Actually. Yeah, imagine going People that are far. Like, oh, but well, they're going fast. But the safety protocols that they had back then—I yeah. mean, we just saw a week ago a dude, you know, went through a guardrail, explosion, right. all. Yeah. Um, and he wouldn't have been probably alive if it wasn't for this piece of technology that he introduced four years yeah. ago. Yeah, he right? walked away and, from that, right? Yeah, he walked away. Yeah. Minor burns to his hands and his foot. Mm -hmm. Um, sadly, his F1 career is coming to an end this season, and he actually won't be able to race again this year. But um, you know, he's fortunate to be alive because you go right. back four years. They said he probably wouldn't have survived that. So. I mean, it's just crazy. Oh yeah, but they've but made a lot it's also of advancements. crazy to see what the uh, you know the differences also that happened back then. You know, people would always try to race with different something. You know, let's change right. this to think we're faster. So it was cool to see. Oh yeah, sure. what, what what's the what's like the highest speed that people get in those? Um, fastest I think I saw was like about almost two twenty something like that, two hundred twenty miles an hour um right I don't, i'm on a straight way picking up a good toe you know behind another car 
Oh, yeah. Um, that is uh, single handedly about two. I think there's one car hit. I think it's uh, Baku, that long straightaway that they hit. They can hit about 210 almost. That's phenomenal, man. Yeah, that's quick as shit. Yeah, it's crazy. And, it's crazy. And they're, they're not just going in a circle either. No, like, yeah, they're making hard <laughs> lefts and rights and right. going from 210 miles an hour there to slow down to probably about probably anywhere about 100 or so miles an hour, I would guess, you know, oh, yeah. trying to drop mm -hmm. 100 miles an hour right there. Nothing against NASCAR, you guys watching. Nothing against NASCAR. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, they're they're not just going in a circle. You know, they're... I mean, I'm a very big NASCAR <laughs> fan myself, so I wouldn't oh, go yeah. that way. NASCAR right. is definitely a whole other animal as well. It is, it is. You know, yeah, I, I, I love turning I love Casey easy, Kane. It's not. No. Casey Kane was always my favorite. Which he's that, not the that best. wheel I have. You try NASCAR heat on it, and you'll be like, okay, maybe NASCAR is not that easy. <laughs> right, yeah, no, it's because that it's first not. that first car that touches you, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you're Good loose, one. you're all over the place. Yeah, it's oh, it's right. not as yeah. easy. That's who, for sure. Who's a who, there's a female driver that was F1 that came over the NASCAR. Who uh, uh, Pat, she wasn't a F F1 driver really. She wasn't. She was an indie driver. Oh, okay. and that was Danica Pan, and that was Danica Patrick right right she was she was amazing she you know. was good at indie yeah nascar not <laughs> yeah. so much right yeah um but... i don't think she understood that all she had to do was turn one way and she wanted to go towards the wall a lot i don't know oh, yeah. you know, maybe she saw another turn that was there i don't know yeah <laughs> and i was playing so, tricks on her for those so many years so how how did you become a streamer like, like what 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 got you into into streaming you know i i know you're racing right now but like what got you into actual streaming racing actually got me into actual streaming oh um, shit racing the, too the minute i actually got that wheel on xbox mm -hmm. um was pretty fun i had it was the first game i actually played was f1 um so mm -hmm. it was really fun on that aspect um of like being able to like control where the car was going and feel like I was dictating actually the game for once without a controller. And I was like, all right, this feels like fun. So I was like, right. how cool would it be if people could watch me do this? So then that was actually right around ninjas blow up on Twitch coming about Fortnite and all that. Um, so of course, streaming was just starting to like become the big thing for everybody. Right. And I looked into it. I was looking up at videos. I was looking up other streamers. Mm -hmm. And I saw people here and there, but I didn't see it going big. And I was like, right. maybe I can make it big then. Maybe I can get that change and be able to communicate with these people because I feel like I know a decent knowledge of racing and I can talk with people about it and back and forth. So right. we started off um, back in, let's see, so last year, so 2019 of April, I would say. Um, I started off streaming through Xbox um no camera and it went all right i had a couple people that would tune in talk in the chat and all that but then mm -hmm. it didn't seem to like grow in views wise it was like always sitting at like two or the right. be bouncing around between one or two and i was like eh, i don't know what's going on you know maybe people just don't know my channel it's small so then I looked into a couple other videos of people and it seemed like a lot more people that were doing more successful were having a video of themselves. And I was like, all right, what would be the point of me having the wheel and not showing that I have the wheel and that I'm turning the wheel and whatnot? I'm like, this would be smart. So right. I got over my fear of being on camera. I was like, you know what? We're, we're going to suck it up. We're going to go through it. Um, people can look me up on social media now. So what's the point, right? You might as right, well just right. go for it. So bought an Xbox Connect camera, connected it to the Xbox and start off there. And within the first day, I gained probably 10 followers more. My viewership went up to at least an average of three that day. And I was like, OK, maybe this is the change. I got to be people want to see me physically racing and whatnot. Yeah, I oh, think yeah. personally, people just like to see who they're communicating with, who they're um, conversing with, you know what I mean? Because it, it makes right. more of a connect, you connect more with people, you know what I mean? You can actually see who you're talking to. Oh, yeah. exactly exactly and at the same time other people also you know at the same time they could be like well is he really racing you know is he really using the wheel that mm -hmm. he says he's using is he True. not you know like people can question that and then yeah. you'd be like well yeah i am well we don't see it well i'm sorry you know i don't have a camera for that or i don't want to be on camera and some people mm -hmm. 
respect it but some people also don't at the same time so i'm seeing a lot more was, streamers add add like the the controller camera too to make sure like they're they're playing on controller yeah. and stuff too i'm seeing a lot more people do that lately yeah mm -hmm. you know? there's two there's more than one camera on people's streams now oh, oh yeah. Seen, yeah but you've seen that a lot more like just pointing at the, your hands even when you're playing just with controller mm -hmm. you see people with a camera pointing at their hands to make sure that they know what they're doing i know somebody does it spiros does it i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. see i'm using the controller I see one yeah, streamer. I, I'm not going to name names, but I see one streamer that they had an issue. So now, <laughs> DJ, I see that smile. They had an issue. So now um, he's actually sh has a camera that shows his monitors. Um, so people can see his monitors that nothing's on it and stuff like that. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of different things that you can do with your stream. It's, <laughs> it's oh, amazing. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had I, I saw a guy actually probably after i started going after a couple months he mm -hmm. had two camera views for his racing perspective and right. he had his camera view on him and then the other one was actually on his pedals oh um and i tried i tried it once and it wasn't too bad you get all those feet fetish people in there yeah <laughs> you know? to a point, but i keep shoes i race with shoes on so me, right. me racing with shoes on build that right. suspense you know one day wear flip-flops you yeah. know what? <laughs> <laughs> for me i don't like the feeling of pedals without feet you know i've always driven oh, a car yeah. with shoes and to it me it's weird you know, even with fucking flip-flops or sandals something it feels <laughs> weird it yeah it does i mean my pedals are also metal so they're cold right as well so you know i don't need my feet being cold when i'm pressing yeah. the pedals and whatnot oh yeah but, yeah I you I wear flip-flops all the time. You lose about an inch. You lose about an inch because of the sole on the shoe, you know? Right. So it feels um, good. I've asked for special racing shoes for Christmas, so we'll see. Oh, shit. Really? They actually make, like, racing yeah. shoes for... No shit. Oh, I can buy the exact same shoes that the pros wear, too, if I wanted to in racing. Well, I suppose, yeah. It'd be kind of cool. But, Ooh. I mean, I don't need, I don't need fire proof shoes that cost three hundred dollars you know? <laughs> oh, right i mean shit. i don't plan on my gear catching fire i hope you know if my stuff catches on fire there might be a serious problem on that note speaking of gear like like i i see your room and stuff but the biggest thing that stands out to me is that amazing picture of chloe behind you yeah oh yeah, yeah. that thing is that thing is awesome you know um yeah, yeah cool i have that Chloe's a, a one of a kind, you know. She, oh God! She, yeah. she, she steps away from the screen, and Chloe decides to go up, and you know, and just <laughs> the, she does her own thing when he's gone, you know. Oh yeah, of course. She's, <laughs> yeah, she's the biggest thing. Um, it was actually funny when I first started streaming. Um, when I got the PlayStation side of it, she would always bump into my table and knock the the PlayStation camera off the uh, the monitor or the TV that I would have it on. So it would always fall and somebody be like what happened and i'd be like well that was chloe she I'm, didn't want she didn't want the camera <laughs> on anymore I'm, I'm gonna show a picture of chloe really quick just so everybody that's watching uh, can see chloe let's see if i have this in the right area there it is yes she is yeah there's uh, chloe yes. right there beautiful she's dog she's beautiful dog yeah. speaking of which look she's, she's even got her own remote as well <laughs> she does yeah she's here now even she's being a little brat about it. <laughs> see if we can get her. Hey, Chloe! Hi. I know she can't, know she can't hear me. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah she... When I first met you, I remember seeing Chloe there. Like, like, How old it, is she? Uh, she is five... I'd say she's about five and a half now, at least. So mm -hmm. Still quite young. One of my yeah, favorite streams younger. was DJ. He was outside with Chloe. And he had a he had a thing set up for how many push-ups he can do. And Chloe was with him the whole time. And I think I think we <laughs> redeemed like a hundred pull-ups or two hundred pull-ups or something that day. <laughs> yeah, that day you made me do yeah. I don't remember how many. I think I did about two hundred pull-ups that day. Mm -hmm. I think I did about three hundred push-ups. Yeah, over, it was a little lot. over a hundred sit-ups, a couple planks three front flips that day yeah and chloe was laying there watching them and chloe <laughs> chilled there most of the time yep. or was getting in the way as me doing push-ups or something yeah Jesus oh Christ. yeah dude there's been so yeah, many streams uh, okay i have to ask the forklift streams oh god okay what's you, going on dj chat if, if you guys go back go on to dj ditter on on his on his twitch and I go back to his vods 
All right. I don't Did know if I can have them because of uh, the DMCs. Uh, DMCs have happened. Oh, yeah. That's right, because we used to play a lot of music as well. Through the, the... Yeah, I had a lot of music involved in those at times. Right. And that I couldn't block anything out of because those were through sound of audio of me talking. Right. Well, hey, hey I, I can show. I'm going to show this uh, this clip really quick, um, just so people can see how your how you like when you race how your setup is. So let's do this. This is in your vods right here. Yes. I just want... Yeah, it's gonna be the first. Uh, oh yeah, first that's, one I'm yeah. Doing. that's what my newest and setup is. For, uh, so th this is like the intermission area when you when you're in your stream intermission in between races or. Yeah, this is usually between races, maybe, mm -hmm. or I might be doing like a practice lap or something right now that's not so big. Right. That like maybe, you know, just kind of just chilling in. Usually when I race, obviously, I'll pull up the, the main racing screen and everything will drop down. Um, oh, yeah. I see, I like how but, you put yourself in the big box and the stream in the little box, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, ninety percent of the time when I'm in those, yeah, usually Chloe's first, with me uh, somewhere. Doing, so that's why I, I like to have her kind of get was, spotted in the background sometimes. That's well, a very old. Story, yeah, so th this is from last year. Yeah, wow. that is. That's definitely with my Thrustmaster. So three days that's ago. Actually, that's actually that stream was. Yeah, that's probably one of my first racing streams in a while. Three days ago, you were playing Fortnite. Jeez, geez, geez. Yeah, well, this is the way, right? No. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see who I'm using. I mean, I, I'm only using one specific character out of that situation. So, dude, I have some breaking news for everyone watching this. Polly has never watched anything Star Wars related. Yes, this interview is right. over. Uh, this is a, um, dude, yeah, this is not a FPS anymore. This is FS. So, oh, you forty show now again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comment in here, guys. Uh, how, how caught up are you on Mandalorian right now, DJ? I watch every episode. You watch. Yeah. Okay. Spoiler warning. Spoiler, Big spoiler warning. warning. Polly, take your Super headset off. Spoiler. If you don't want to be spoiled. Okay. Yeah, I'm not watching that shit. Oh my God! The Mandalorian it's, is one of the best shows ever. This show I absolutely is going love to it. Be great for the next probably. It well, it the way it looks at episode at mm -hmm. season every year. So the next three years is going to be insane. What did you think of Ahsoka Tana? Oh, like great. holy shit! They they could great. not have picked a better actress to actually fit no. like her body, her her facial expressions, everything. Oh, Dude, by far, yeah. You know, and there, Chad, if you guys don't know, Ahsoka Tano was from Clone Wars and, and, and Rebels. Uh, there was a lot of shit that happens in Clone Wars. Um, she is Anakin Skywalker's um, trainee or what? Pad one or whatever you yeah. call it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and before he turns Darth Vader or during during that time that he becomes during Darth that Vader. that time pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's insane that they have done very good with the show overall also in the fact that you really don't know what to expect next you think you know and you're like okay right. it's maybe doing this okay this might happen because this is kind of this and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. i know where a curveball happens and you're like well no i didn't expect that now so what the hell is actually really going on and well, what right. the fuck is this new person now that came in that i don't know <laughs> right because there's a new person almost every time and that's the thing that's awesome with it because they're leading this to just mm -hmm. keep going and going fucking bubba fett oh, dude God. bubba what? fett Watch that first of all <laughs> when i saw the space <laughs> cruiser when i saw the, when i'm I saw sorry Polly, i love you coming in when i saw his ship coming in oh my I know, god right? i was like it's here it's finally oh happened. It's it's been involved. It's what we needed. Right. So, but I didn't so, think it was. I didn't think it was going to be that badass when he put the armor on. Oh yeah. Did you see how it, it fits so funny? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so, dude. Polly in this show, Boba Fett. Um, he was he was killed off. Um, a long time ago, right? He was supposedly killed off, but nobody. He was ate by a. Uh, a sand monster or whatever like it was a big right yeah yeah yeah. he was ate yeah. by one of those right but nobody actually like everyone just assumed he was dead okay so all of a sudden he just comes back out of like out of wherever he was you know like we don't really know the whole story as to from when he left that sandworm well, 
to that is now. to come because we right? shall be getting hopefully a show of just Boba Fett. That would be awesome, dude. Boba Fett. Well, that's, um, that's talks of it that I've heard. Right. I, I hope to so. really tell us what's missing of it. Right. Yeah, we had that couldn't get, ever get any Star Wars and stuff like that, you know. So. I don't that's know. right then you know what you're not allowed to go to disney world ever so don't come here <laughs> to go to disney world all right <laughs> right i'm oh. coming to disney world but then you that... have to watch star wars that is you have to have the password to get into the disney world and it's from right. star wars so yep you have to what, what, what so you possible? better learn it but hey Past dude you, Polly, you gotta watch it to know it <laughs> the the gate Polly, the gate looks fucking awesome and that's all you're gonna see if you don't know what the password is I'm, so, not, I'm not yeah, I'm not a great lover. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> and, and, and my fiance used to work there, so she's got pulled to make sure you'll never get in. Breaking guy news right here. Holy <laughs> tries to get into Disney World. <laughs> Denied. But boy's family leaves him at gate. Yeah, so but you guys, yeah. Mandalorian in Fortnite. Uh with with baby Yoda his name is Gregor or what's his name? Um, I just keep calling them baby go, Yoda. Go root or something like that. Yeah. So go let's root. go. Let's go back to this. All right. So this is your stream a couple days ago. I don't even want it. This is horrible. I suck. <laughs> you you got the kill. It was a bot. I should have got the kill. These were robots. <laughs> yeah. So so what what do you I think about Fortnite because having... of music? Well, what, well what, what, it's gr yeah. it's great on the fact that Fortnite's getting a lot of this. Star Wars and Marvel involved, which means that mm -hmm. Disney's involved, which means Disney has put their touch on it, which means it's something that can be very successful for the future. Oh, I God, mean, yeah. as much as people hate to say it, Disney has done something that nobody has ever done, and that's become super successful at, you know, movies, rides, theme oh, parks, yeah. shows, gaming. I mean, they, they take the right steps to go further and further. I mean, look at them. They they drop Disney Plus, which comes with a Hulu bundle and an ESPN mm -hmm. bundle. Right. I mean, they they planned for the future. They bought out Fox to get Hulu, and they've been with ESPN a long time ago because oh, they knew God, that was yeah. the smartest decision to do. Well, and shit, and, Verizon gave like two years to us for Disney oh, Plus for free. Yeah, and their team their teaming with Verizon gives them the yeah. best connection of internet and stuff that you get at their theme parks and whatnot oh yeah and it's just you you can't go wrong when a video game is bringing in characters like that right and it, it gets the people involved it's something that's that has the whole country if not the whole world aroused of the mandalorian and baby oh Yoda. god yeah so my so. my favorite and also most hated game is, is warzone I really wish that they would come out with like a Star Wars war zone. Like I think it'll, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. No, it'll never happen. Because battle but, first of all, Battlefront already took that. So Right. Or is whatever it, so, it is with, with Battlefield and all that. So with right. it being tied with that title, it means that Battlefield, whoever creates them, which is EA. Right. So EA has the rights to that, which means it'll never be in Call of Duty because it'll EA never be in Call of Duty. It'll never work. Nah. Right, no, and if EA and Call of Duty work, well, Call of Duty has officially gone to its last string of not wanting to be a video game anymore <laughs> at that <laughs> point. So it's getting there. It is getting EA there. is not going in greatest directions for themselves, sadly. I mean, right. Oh yeah, but dude, Call are of Duty less and less buying these games because it's just the same thing every year. So have you played the new Call of Duty? Cold War? No, I have not bought Cold War. Polly, what do you think of Call the Cold War? I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I played the Alpha. I have it downloaded. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can't seem to bring myself to play it yet. I don't know. I'm not a fan of multiplayer anymore. I think because of the BR, they gave us BR. You know, they right. gave us the best, and I don't know, trying to get people over. Right now, on Cold War, it seems to be zombies that's taking the, lim the limelight right now. Oh God, yeah. It's, it's overshadowing just not the normal multiplayer. So, yeah, for me, the only thing. Um, encouraging or making me want to play cold war is um, mm -hmm. the fact that nuke town is back you know and that's right was yeah reason. yeah so but, yeah, true. but with nuke town like i've been watching a lot of people that um like like i've been seeing all their clips and stuff on youtube and how skill-based matchmaking is just completely demolishing it to where it's yep. not even oh fun, yeah you know no, yep. nuke town has yep. 
been destroyed. But at the same time, they want to try to make Newtown something that it probably isn't every single time we play Black mm -hmm. Ops as well. I mean, every right. time we play Black Ops, what do we know? There's always going to be somebody in there that's dropping 90 kills out of some crazy corner of the house that we don't know how to be in. Yep. You know, it's it's always like that. So they want to try to change it for once and not make a way it's always been. And people don't like that something that has changed finally. Oh, but yeah. yeah. So people I'm... will adjust it to the change because we always do. I mean, oh, we didn't God, like yeah. how Warzone started and we're still all grinding and playing it as much as we all complain and hate it. Yeah, it's a good game and everybody complains about it as a good game, but we keep getting angry. Keep going back. Keep, on, yeah. What, yeah, keep going fucking back every time. Dude, second Enough. place last night with bears. Me and him versus a juggernaut. What are you, yeah. what? What? Yeah, it's just, it's like it's how? Just you can't win. Well, the, that's the thing you don't get. Why would you put a juggernaut in a war zone match? Why? Oh my god! It, it, I was so I got you off. complain about I campers, got, I was, and then you done. give somebody a juggernaut, which means you could just camp in a suit to shoot people in. Great, right. right. it's the same thing yeah. that the game is already having a well, problem with, and let you encourage it to be worse. Well, and because now when somebody has a juggernaut, you're hiding from the juggernaut too. Oh yeah, and did you guys see this? Hold on, war zone juggernaut glitch uh, i need oh, i need God. to show you guys this you guys won't be able to hear audio but there's a glitch to this that's even better yeah i've seen it um yeah there was like fucking 20 of them on the map or something oh my god yeah so you see this hold on if, if you grab if you grab it and swap it with a different um kill streak if you do it the right time look at that now you have a juggernaut in your hand and a juggernaut on the ground so now oh, you I throw it that. yep now you throw it and oh look at this God. one two he has so many it, it, yeah, your whole squad could be jugged up right all yep. of it it's just it's ridiculous How? and yet this is the thing i don't understand about this game right every time we load this game it mm -hmm. tells us oh pause there's a quick little mini update for five ten seconds whatever the hell it lasts for usually every time mm -hmm. you, you start it up right why can't you do an update that lasts 45 seconds that literally took that bug out that they can't do that? You could fix it in literally two seconds of a code because mm -hmm. that's what that is. It's a code yep. that you can yep. block and be going. And like, that's just, I don't know. Yeah, I'm right. disappointed. That's... My opinion of the world is that I'm disappointed on how much technology we apparently say we have and we show, mm -hmm. but we don't seem to use all that technology for everything that we say it can be built for right video yeah. games can be designed so much better and realistically to the fact of everything i mean you could take a gun and when you shoot it in real life at a metal target that's pinpoint yeah to go through 10 yards still goes through 50 yards okay it made a ding but it didn't go through okay you right. can do that in a game where 50 meters 20 meters they're hit marking from distance i mean fortnite does it to a point Oh, yeah. But at the same time, they're still wrong on their judgment distances because a headshot point blank with a shotgun in Fortnite, you're dead. I mean, you're not getting a nine hit on a headshot. Right. But, oh, yeah. You know, Warzone, that's the, the shotgun. Things that you can't. Because I don't get it. You know, it's you make a bubble already of gas, right? That's a bubble. You can make mm -hmm. a bubble that is a certain range for persons and shooting wise and it's just i don't get it oh yeah but the the, the damn shock on the war zone is fucking terrible uh, yeah. you know so, like I yeah, that's the other yeah. thing you drop a new gun every game and all of a sudden it becomes op for the first week every mm -hmm. time it's out i don't know how that but that's why the that's where they've got is with the cold war and the the crossover between the two games because you know they're, they're going to overpower the guns in cold war for people using them in war zone Therefore, people who don't have them yet, they're going to have to buy Cold War and rank them up to use them in Warzone to be on a level with the people that already have them. Oh, yeah. And that's, where that, people, that's where they've got yeah. people with the balls, you know? So, I, that's the only yeah. reason why I missed the blackout layout where you had the loot, you had to find the right gun, you had to find attachments. Yeah. That you couldn't just purchase the the OP gun. Yeah. You know, right. I, I, I do miss that with blackout. I wish Warzone yeah. would have like one mode where there is no loadouts. You know, and it's just ground loot. That's but it. you guys, we're going to take a quick break. We will be right back. Uh, enjoy this little preview. If we got a preview, we're trying to deal some with Spank. So if it's on here, enjoy it. If it's not, see you in 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are back in with DJ Ditter. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there was a clip, maybe, maybe not. Fucking Spanks. 
Hopefully somebody did what they were supposed Spines. to for once, right? Right, right, yes. Spangs! Spines, give us the dates! Spangs! <laughs> anyway, all right, all right, so what got you... We're going, we're going to, you have like 20 minutes left, so we're just going to fly through this, okay? What mm -hmm. got you into streaming? Like, just, we're just going to do like a quick thing. Like, like what, uh, just what was your first general, stream? First stream was racing. Racing. Um, was, I believe, Forza on controller. Right. Um, and it was just kind of fun to see and do. So, that's what you got. As I grew racing, mm -hmm. I wanted to just show people the racing aspect of what it's like and, so when did you become affiliated? Um, probably took me about a month, I would say, to get me affiliated. Um, so I That's started in April, long. took me about till May. I got affiliated. Um, I had a right. lot of help with uh, a fellow friend named Edgar Unar, uh, right. a friend of ours that we know in here that comes into, you know, some of the tournaments and whatnot. Oh, yeah. he's a so, beast. Uh, yeah, he's he's been a beast. He's helped me since day one uh, mm -hmm. grow my channel to the start. And then, you know. I've learned a lot from him and grew part of my channel from learning from him and his people. Oh God, yeah, yeah. He he, so, uh, he had a really cool YouTube video when he went to the movie theater. Yeah. Like that that oh, video that's... was absolutely awesome. Yeah, he does vlogs now. Uh, mm -hmm. He's doing a lot of vlogging now. Uh, he just actually did the first ever apparently FIFA game in an ice bath in his mm -hmm. house. <laughs> ice what? <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah, check it out. It's YouTube. Yeah, YouTube uh, of uh, I think it's Edgar Unar on his YouTube, and yeah, he. I think you're right. Yeah. It wasn't that full of an ice bath, though. I I did judge him on that. I think it should have been a little more full of a bath. <laughs> hey, yeah, fucker with the chip. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about judging really quick. Hold on, uh, so I just had so much hopes for you. Oh, chat, or, you, you killed me. Viewers are watching this. Me and Hawkman K Smith. Decided to do a stream, and on the stream, if we hit a certain goal, which we did hit, we would do uh, eat the nine thousand or nine million, not thousand, nine million Scoville level chip. And he had the gummy bear because the fucking chip cost me sixty bucks. I was not gonna buy one for Hawk. What was it? The gummy bear was like <laughs> forty bucks, something like that. Uh, Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was 14, so I say. I think the you gummy should give him the chip instead. Oh god, yeah, I should have sent him that and did the gummy bear, but the chip was so bad. It was so bad. And and after the stream we called out DJ and Warshaw to do the chip after we got done doing it and we were dying. Like I bad memories. Yeah, I'm so happy because I, I thought it was going to be me and drama. They were getting oh. called out because we were giving you so much shit for it, you know? I thought well, I'm like me and Hawk were debating on who we were going to do, and we were going to do you and drama. We were like, we even set up drama to get ready for it, you know. Like, and, and then I someone sent me a clip. I don't remember who the hell sent me a clip. Phoenix uh, sent you a clip. It was a Phoenix? DJ talking shit. DJ Phoenix saying, sent you a clip of me talking shit that you wimped out <laughs> yeah, about. I, I wimped ten out ten seconds in, and so I, yeah. I just because because. In my I opinion, did not win out though. Vote. I I I was in my mouth. My right. fucking mouth was on fire. So I actually completed the challenge. But right, I did down a fucking gallon of milk. That did not I help at all. If there was a bet on the table, it would have been on you to hold it longer than Hawk was. And when you <sighs> went right for that milk, it just upset me. That I was like, wow, he Dude. caved in so quick on me. Yeah, I thought I, I had think... more faith in him yet. I can't do it. I, my like when you challenge me, as I told you, I I would be in the hospital. I'd eat that thing and I'd be in the hospital because I'd be I, I, probably crying too yeah. much that I'd never be able to talk because I can't even handle a pinch of Tabasco sauce. I, mean, I literally just, I don't like spice. Felt my heart just, <laughs> dude. When that when I that can only hit, imagine. I could feel my heart in my mouth when that. It was so bad and it tasted like shit, like just oh, pure sure. shit. It was well, it was like a black powder edible, that really. just. Ugh, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it's so not bad. made as a Dorito. It's made to just have all those spices in it. That's yeah. really all it is. Oh, it was so bad. No good taste to it. And, and, yeah. and but Hawk got the cherry flavored gummy bear. <laughs> it, fuck, it tastes good. You know, like I had that before and it was not the same as the chip. The chip was just. Nah, I think he walked away easy with that gummy bear. Yeah, The, he, the chewiness of that gummy mm -hmm. bear takes away from the hotness. Yeah. And I can say that as a candy person that loves candy. 
when you have sour Skittles and you just mm. chew on the Skittles before you actually suck on them, yeah, they're great. But if you suck on them, you actually get the sourness. You're actually like, oh, these are sour. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that was that was a tough. So when you bite a gummy bear that has hotness in it, it's just, just gonna go into your stomach fast. You're not gonna get all those bits and tastes. You should have made him suck on the gummy bear for like five minutes. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's yeah. what it would have got him. Oh yeah. god, yeah. That's what it would have, because he would have sucked on it, and then when he would have eat it, oh, that's what it would have hit him. Well, since DJ and Warshaw did not complete the challenge, in the comments, let me know all of you guys that want to see Polly and Drama do it. No. In the comments, nope. Drama <laughs> will be on the next episode. If you guys want to see Polly and Drama do the challenge, leave it in the comments. Say Polly Drama challenge. I want to see it. Uh, nope. DJ, DJ, a uh, hey. couple more questions to get through. Yep. Yep. Um, I want to. Um, yeah, yeah, I wanted to ask DJ. Um, you like what I said at the start of the video. You've been with SMF for quite a considerable amount of time. How much has it changed since you joined, and have you how, how have you seen it grow? How, um, so, good question. I joined SMF uh, over over a year ago now. Oh, yeah. Um, and when I first joined, it was probably 20 people big maybe at the moment maybe mm -hmm. even a little less or so um and it was really just it seemed like a bunch of people that were just kind of getting together uh through 40 uh just kind of just playing some you know i think it was blackout at the time yeah. uh mainly and uh he actually came in to my stream and just was dropping like a lurk every time or a follow or, uh would come in through him like raiding me or something mm -hmm. and Shanoon was speaking highly of him one day and I was like, she's like, yeah, he's an awesome guy and everything. So I checked it out. He invited me to the discord and played with them for probably about a week straight at one point. Yeah. And oh, just yeah. realized how relaxed and enjoying the games were, not how serious he was taking it compared to me yelling at his at my monitor <laughs> compared to he wasn't really yelling. This, is a, blackout. Like, this is a blackout days, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this, blackout, yeah. yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, a long time so, ago. So, yeah. I mean, it started off small, um, mm -hmm. and then a couple people would join here and there with us. Um, and then one day, me and him just, we swore up to like 3, 4 a.m. just talking for hours. Oh, yeah. Um, off, off stream about, and everything. Yeah. yeah. Just talking about what you know we want streaming to be and what our mm -hmm. goals are and it seemed like we we both just had the same idea of what this community could do which be yeah. a community that's for other people not for yourself and that's what right. it seems you see more is people are there for themselves they're not there for others they're there for themselves most yeah. of the time um they're right. like check my discord right check my my when 40 speaks he says check our discord out we're going right. live we're great he's speaking plural more than himself and it just shows that it's not selfishness so like the way i saw it all i was like this is something that can grow for sure and i started bringing in some people that i knew you know that yep. were oh, God, small yeah. growing um that was right around the time really when it was me and him had that talk that was right around the time when i did my first giveaway uh yep. that was when warshaw won it and then that was right when me and warshaw really connected well and i brought him right in as like one of the first mm -hmm. people to kind of bring in here and we got him follows right away we were trying to help him get affiliated um and all that so once i saw how well that progressed i just knew that this community was going to be there for everybody and be there for each other well, and, and Warshaw just got a new logo too, and that logo looks pretty good. Yeah, his logo <laughs> looks sick. I like it. I like it. It looks like a good logo. Um, yeah, that was something I was been trying to work with him with, and he was like, "I don't really know." And I was like, "Well," and then after we've been going through everything with you and everything, and I was like, "Yo, before he could probably come up with something off his mind, maybe." So that came out yeah. well, but did, the yeah. way that it's just grown for everybody. I mean, it started off at like say twenty people. I think it's over probably 50 people we got in here at least now no uh pro probably 50 that are, that are that are active uh there's like 300 yeah. people in the discord now right right but, yeah i'm just but yeah 50 active. About active ones yeah. that we yeah. see kind of yeah yeah, yeah. So, all, speaking, all the time yeah speaking of that and logos and generosity and stuff like that i think oh, yeah. um if you remember a, a few months back i was reaching out to to anybody who wanted to help and some people were helping me i just didn't like the ideas 
And then DJ randomly just sent me a message and said, hey, who do you think about this? And um, I've stuck with the logo. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, it's really, so it's, thanks, it's in our back background. Good, it's in yeah, our background, you, DJ. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I have a creative side to me sometimes. So, you know, it comes out and I try to uh, make things unique for myself and other people in a way, you know, as yeah. you see, you know, I have my logo, as you see, partially behind me at times. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that wasn't made up by me, but I like the concept of it. It's not something basic that you see, so it's unique. Um, yep. 40 actually made that for me, so came out well. And it's, you know, it's not something basic, you know. Yeah, I, and it's easy to put on a shirt. My fiance is unique, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, speaking of your fiance, so, okay, you guys, there, I was supposed to be at his wedding in November. November first was, was dj's wedding and uh because of covid uh it's, it's been pushed back to may may 23rd now right and, and, so so what what's the whole story with 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 you and the missus like how long have you guys been together first um, of all what's her name for people that don't know so for the missus her name's renee um we've been together over six years now um We've been engaged, I guess, over a year and a half officially about now. Yeah, right. Year and a half now officially. Um, and it's funny we actually met on one of those dating sites called POF, Plenty of Fish. Really? Yeah. I actually wow. did not know that. Wow. Not many people do. Actually, no, I um, did not know that. That yeah, many people also didn't really ask us. I don't think. I think people just right. think that we've been together for so long and yeah. they just don't even bother to ask at the time. But. Oh, we met on there. Um, I met her at a park with her goddaughter at the time. She was taking care of her goddaughter. And she said her first thing she thought was, uh, just please don't have him be a pedophile or a kidnapper. <laughs> um, but right. she said after about a couple minutes with me, she realized there was going to be no harm. And yeah, that it pretty much kicked off well from there. And going nice. strong. Obviously, we have our differences like every other relationship ever does in its oh, life. Yeah. But... <laughs> I think yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, I'll, 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 well. I'll, I'll, I'll stuff like that because that's actually how I met Laura, my partner. We, um, I think it's 14 years in February. Um, we met on a site called Bebo. I don't know if you remember Bebo, but it was a site before Facebook. Um, uh, I seen no a picture shit. on one of my friends' um, the photo albums. I was looking through and I seen a picture of Laura, the, one of my friends' girlfriend. Um, and I was like, and I was like, hey, she likes to paint nice. Can you set me up on a date? And she did, and the rest <laughs> is history. Shit, I met Molly off Facebook. Yeah. So we all met wow. our wives. Our social media. Social media. Almost wife, at least. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I met that Molly is, off Facebook. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Going to a bar shit and try to talk to people, you know? <laughs> and, 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 and dude, like, it was right when Facebook started, too. So, like, it was MySpace and then Facebook. That's right when I met her, and that's when, right when we got together. So it's weird. Yeah, mine was mine was right around when the, the dating ass were kind of just yeah. getting going more and more. You know, I think it was POF was fairly new when uh when it yeah, came I, I didn't like, even know what it was at the time. So I've never heard of POF. I, I was I was on the I was on the fish one. <laughs> and it was one? really um, yeah, yeah. I was on the molded. Yeah. I she was in a <laughs> Mickey Mouse. I was Mouse desperate. Hoodie. I was desperate. <laughs> Polly, Polly, I'd swipe right for you. Uh, right's the good way, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, shit, maybe that's the wrong way. Yeah, I've never tried that one yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Laura, if you're watching this, you. you keep keep uh, them okay. in the closet. Put a We're going to edit on. that one out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't edit here, bro. So, okay. So, <laughs> DJ, are, are, are you going to be getting a PS5 or an Xbox Series X? Uh, um, well, I mean, I don't really ever say no to always having a console. Right. So at the moment, I'm not in a rush for them. Okay. I'm sure I will have both of them since I have every console of both systems that have started out. Right. From their originals to what there is now almost. But you mostly but game on PC. I mostly game on PC right now. Right. Or the Racing League is still in PS4 because not everybody has a PS5 yet, so... Right, I suppose. Um, but the PC side right now is really, I think, actually kind of a good wave to be in. Um, you can always change a PC. You can't always change a console. You can True. only buy a new console. Oh, so, yeah. With Sony taking forever to drop this one out, um, PlayStation 6 might not come out till 2026. 
Right? Dude. So, uh... I got... I, I... Polly got one, too. We got lucky that we were able to even get a PS5. Yeah, you got very lucky. You know? You got very lucky, actually. Um, I could have actually had one. I could have had one opening night. I had it in my cart, and it actually was letting me take it through the cart, but I said no. I need to ordered... do something else with my money. Between Jeez. me and my friend, we ordered five that morning. Jesus. Wow. We, we, we got five. We get um, two others for other people that right. can't, be, can't mention. Um, and uh, nice. my buddy, how many son got one as well? So nice. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, we sure got lucky, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I took mine and spent it on a wheel instead. <laughs> Probably a good buy. Shit. Yeah. The PS, the PS5. I'm not going to lie. The PS5, dude, it, it feels amazing. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, sure it does. oh my god. It feels just as great as my 3090 or 3070 graphics card, but yeah. it, really, for real. Like I I mean, you know, I played Call of Duty on PC with you that day. And, mm -hmm. and it like it looked great. I almost think the PS5 looks better than it did oh, when it's I sure. was playing on it, PC. It, probably the graphics wise right now, yeah. it's it's actually more the the way they built the game, I should say, mm -hmm. is the game was built for the consoles this time. If you right. go back to Warzone and go play, play Warzone on PS5 right now mm -hmm. and look at it on PC, your graphics will actually probably look a little bit better on PC at the moment. But if you go to the Cold War aspect of right. console and PC wise, it's going to look better on the console because I think they focused for this game to look good on these consoles because they want to make these consoles look good and sell. Right. Oh, yeah. And I, and I think that's really what the catch is. I mean, there's always a catch to something somehow to make something sell better. And I think that's, you know, the way that Call of Duty probably took this game and said, look, we're going to make it the console game because all these consoles are dropping. Right. And, you know, they're not dumb. They know how to make the money and oh, yeah. sell it like that. It sells. So. Well, and dude, it costs a shit ton just to be able to play. Right. When, when you can make $500 off of right. a console and sell it out every oh, yeah. day that it goes online of whatever it is 400 consoles a you know a time that it does it you're still making tons of money off of that yeah oh god yeah yeah they're making a shit ton on there so okay i think that's all of the questions we have Polly wally do you have any more questions for the sexy dj uh -huh. ditter himself not off the top of my head dj yeah. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, yeah, Just get some more merch, Polly. You're slacking on the SMF side. Dude, yeah, what the shit, Polly? You got one hat, bro! I have three things. Okay, I forgot I about those. seven. Seven? Okay, uh, I, so I, I don't even have seven. <laughs> I have... We're editing that L2. Dude, that mouse pad looks um, nice. I have my the new SMF logo shirt. I have the Just Follow 40 shirt. Yeah, dude, that was a long um, time ago. I have Polly, have you SMF ever seen that shirt? Mug. Nope. It, it's nah, the, nobody, it, it, nobody ever sees that shirt, really. No, unless it, I it, wear it. That's the only time it's seen, yeah. DJ, you're the only one that I think has it. Um, it's two hands that, that go like this. That was my first giveaway winner. Right. It's, but uh, yeah, it, it's yeah. two hands no, that go like this, yeah. and this sexy yeah. beast follows. J yeah. Foreman 2. Um, my name was yeah. J Foreman 2 at the yeah. time. That was my mystery box yeah that's what got me really locked in after that point because i was like oh 150 pieces of snacks uh, this guy knows where it's oh. at so we're gonna stay here for sure yeah, <laughs> yeah we, hey, we, just, that was a great giveaway what, uh, what i wanted to ask what what is that oh i'm what's, sorry what's that why what's dj Ditter? what's what's the name why is why, that is why? my actual name that is what everybody calls me dj um is actually short for daniel joseph but right. nobody ever calls me that unless i'm in trouble and it's my mother <laughs> um and she even knows not to really call me as much but everybody's called me dj since i've ever known anybody as a friend and ditter's my last name so i just kind of figured it'd be easy to stick with my tag used to be like I didn't, ditter know that was your last name. I didn't know that was your last name yeah my tag for most of my gaming actually used to be like ditter 8 or ditter 24 mm -hmm. um and then when i got into the streaming side i actually was like you know what let's just like i saw more people put their name I was like, you know what? I, if I want people to know who I am, then right. I'm going to put my name. I'm not going to put some gamer tag name that people are going to be like, who the heck is these nuts? You know, like my second account is, you know, <laughs> yeah. people are like, who the hell is that? You and guys, go, oh, all of a sudden, like, these nuts like, no, joined me. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I think I kicked them. Like, I was like, who the fuck is these yeah. nuts? And dude, just like, dude, that's my account. I'm like, what the fuck? 
fucking I think that was for nuts. Rogue. Yeah, that's yeah, how it was Rogue. Rogue. Epic. Oh my god, I yeah. burst out dying. Oh, yeah, that's my that's my second account. Yeah, that's dude, more that's... of my more of my Epic slash Microsoft. Dude, that's an unusual name. Not gonna lie, I've never heard that before. No, yeah, did her. Yeah, yeah, it's apparently something very old that I've been told. I haven't really been able to find much. I should probably do more of an ancestry thing on it probably sometime soon. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, I haven't actually met another Ditter. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I've seen the name apparently pop up on things mm -hmm. like I've searched it wise, but and it's actually weird because somebody actually had has my DJ Ditter as a Twitter already, and it's someone like not even like me or not relatively like to me. And I'm like, that's great. That's <laughs> weird. That's weird. So my Twitter has to be different. So All right, um. Well yeah yeah i think that that's just about wraps up dj you going live tonight uh i don't think so all right okay. are you are, are you gonna for me oh shit, that's right so yeah i'm gonna DJ, probably work some overtime so dj we are going to give you a minute shout out everything that you can all your socials what's coming up in your stream really quick you know just a, a, basically a full 30 seconds of the biggest self-promotion you've ever done all right so uh big shout out to smf greatest community out there to be uh shout out to raise energy that keeps me going through all these streams for you guys um shout out to all my socials which would be twitter as dj ditter eight um also instagram as dj ditter um twitch as dj ditter and i have a youtube that i'm trying to work on for dj ditter but it's not going yet just getting there and my discord is actually affiliated through the smf discord so if you want to be part of it you got to join smf to be part of it so what better way to get you into the greatest community than to just join right through the discord right there and stay connected and let's keep it going fucking Thanks. love it dj thank you brother thank you for the thank episode two of the yes. fps show let's fucking much sexiness. go let's go thank you very much guys and um, i hope you enjoy uh, it hold on hold on Polly, what? Polly, what does everybody need to do? Please, Please like, subscribe, and subscribe, you sexy motherfuckers. Let's fucking go.